failure can inspire, it can motivate, and it can teach us, and we can thrive from it. For our plug-in group discussion, I want to ask you each, why do some people seem to be better able to cope with change than others? Um, I think that some personalities that are so laid back and easygoing have an easier time with change. Because if you're real set in your ways, you, you can't change. But these people that have a good personality in that way can. Oh, and of course, if you're, if you're in the Word and if you're in prayer, that makes it easier as well to change. Because it's not just you, you're leaning on the Lord. So I think that helps. Amen. <laughs> I, several years ago, I had noticed that some people, uh, especially some women, were able to be stronger in situations and they seemed to be tougher and be able to get through it. And some, some women were not. As, and I talked to the Lord about that. I said, Lord, how is it that, you know, that, that so-and-so seems to be uh, going through her situation pretty strong and so-and-so just can't seem to handle it and he said some women are just stronger than other women and unlike you said jules some of them have a strong relationship with the lord and that's the thing that grounds them and guides them through the situations that, that's going on and so this this relationship with the lord has everything to do with how we are getting through our situations you gotta have your relationship with jesus there's just no other way yeah yeah, I feel that both what Connie and Julie said is absolutely true. You have to be strong in your faith. Yeah. And I think that is a, a big contributor to people who are able to handle stress really well. But yeah. it, it goes a little deeper than that, too. It's self-awareness, I think. Mm. You know, knowing who you are as a person and what you can handle and what you can't handle. Yeah. Even in those situations where they, they make you feel like you're out of control. Um going back to your faith again and and calming yourself saying now wait a minute you know what why yeah. why is this getting to me it's important to just understand that uh change is inevitable yeah and so if you just learn to accept that and start to embrace um that that change is going to happen then i think you adapt quicker yeah and i think it helps with the coping and of course for us that are believers we know that we always have Christ as our rock, you know, to help yeah. us uh, overcome and work through anything. But I would say even for a non-believer, you have to start with not being afraid of change. I mean, it, it's just a part of life. And if you embrace that, you know, it's an opportunity to move forward. Um, I think with that too, creates an open mind to grow from the change, which I think is a big, yes. big deal. Um, yeah. Change is related to fear. And if you let the fear overtake you, you won't, won't change. You should embrace change and feel the fear, but do it anyway. I mean, we, we, are, we are fearful of something that's going to harm us. And that's, that's natural. You have to look at what the change is. And if it's not going to kill you, uh, you're not going to die from it. Then feel it, feel the fear, but do it anyway. The only thing I would say is it's okay also if it takes you a little time to embrace the change. It's also, you know, it's okay if it takes a minute for you to embrace it and to um, start finding the, the good things in it. It may take a little minute, but that was one thing that, um, that I eventually got to was to see all the good things about it. So, yeah. that's Amen. all. What you know, and I've enjoyed all of you ladies for what you've been saying. It's so encouraging. I was just thinking when she said about change being um, something that is always going to happen you, daily, you have changes that you weren't expecting. I don't know about you, but my days are never the same each day. There's always something different that comes up, uh, a person that comes across your path, but changes in it and is an inevitable. But here's the thing is how we manage to change. And I know that I serve a God who is unchangeable. Mm -hmm. He's, he doesn't change. 
So he's got the day. He orders out my steps if I but ask him to yes. do it each and every day. And so what I've learned is kind of do a reset, a refresh, a restore, <laughs> and a renew. And you know how when you have those problems with your computer, what do they tell us to do? Refresh. Reboot. Yeah, reboot. Reboot. Refresh your screen. Reboot. Failure refresh. is what we say. Failure is not an option. Failure will come too with the changes and fear mm -hmm. will paralyze us. But we have to do it. I think it was Connie or Kay that said it, that we have to be afraid and do it anyway. How are you embracing life's edits? Why do you think it is so hard to embrace change? What significant change have you had to deal with lately? Is it possible to feel the fear but do it anyway? How are you giving yourself grace and moving forward? for you to subscribe to our channel.